Hi, I'm Taylor and I'm a second year MKH student at Columbia. So I have gotten questions, and this is a question I had myself, of sort of what is public health? What can you do with public health? And the short answer is like pretty much anything. But um, like anecdotally, I have done research with men's health and behavioral health. I have um, started a task force for menstrual equity. I have continued to researching menstrual equity, um, doing qualitative research. I've done other qualitative research on um, the mention of women in states' opioid policies. I have um, done more quantitative research, looking at postpartum care using like medical claims data and statistical software. Um, and I worked in both business development and patient engagement in a small like biotech firm. So um, even just myself, which that was majority research um, as a student, but you know, there's, there's so many different ways to apply public health. Um, but I thought that I would get some actual statistics um, from a more broad sense on what um, graduates from my public health school end up doing and end up working in after they graduate. So here we go. So first, it's important to mention that 87% of graduates found jobs after they graduated. Another 10% continued their studies and did more education. So um, they went on to medical school or dental school or PhD programs. Um, and so that leaves only two that were actively seeking employment. Um, so only 2% of the graduating class from my public health school weren't able to um, like find jobs within the first year of graduation. So that's only within the first year. So from those who were working and did report their job functions, have some statistics here. So 31% were working as researchers and 24% were working in management, 11 were consultants, and 12 were clinicians or providers. And then there's an assortment of the remaining percentages working in communication or policy or education, things like that. So those are the roles that they were working in. So while more than half of grads are working as researchers or in management, as managers in management roles, um, the actual like sector or employer that they're working for um, can vary. So 38% are in hospitals or healthcare. 12% are in government and 10% are at consulting firms. And the rest splits into areas like universities, nonprofits, biotech, research organizations, things like that. So um, if it's a little confusing, the difference between those two, if you think about it like this, um, you can work as a researcher in government or you can work as a manager in hospital. Um, and depending on your department and your specialization and what you learned during your MPH, those two <laughs> roles in those two different industries might make a lot of sense. So looking at the department breakdown, since public health is such a big field, there's obviously so many different areas you can go into, both while you're in your academic stage and when you're looking for jobs afterwards and transitioning into the workforce. So our school, we have seven different degree combinations. So we have five MPH departments. And so the MPH is the master's in public health and that's the traditional degree, master's degree. So we have five departments. We have epidemiology, uh, health policy management, environmental, sociomedical sciences, and population and family health. Um, and those, the names of those might vary a little bit from school to school, but typically most schools have um, some assortment of those. Maybe they, they might have one or two less or um, maybe one or two more, and they might call them something slightly different, but most public health schools have like those types of areas. Um, <clears throat> and then, in addition to the MPH, our school also offers um, a Master's of Health Administration. And so that comes through the HPM department. And then they also have an MS in Biostats. So there's like seven different combinations that you can do and that's not even talking about the certificates. So when you start getting into the certificates, there's a lot of different combinations of degrees and specializations that you can learn. So um, by department, there, um, I listed the top three sectors that each department um, 
graduate work, graduates were in and the top for all of them is hospitals and healthcare, which kind of makes sense. And then there's departments like Biostats, Epi, and HPM who are commonly doing consulting and, you know, PopFam and SMS who are commonly in nonprofits. And none of that is by, like, is at all. There's no rule to this. Um, you can use any of the skills from any of the departments to sort of apply into the field that you want to go into. So while HPM students might not commonly do research um, or go into research fields afterwards and things like that, that doesn't mean you can't. Um, especially, you know, depending on the certificate you pick and things like that, you can always tailor your education into like your interests and how you want to sort of combine all those interests together into the industry that you want to be in. Every November at APHA, I get to see this firsthand. And I, this year I decided to get some real life examples of students, graduates, and public health practitioners and how they are practicing public health every day across the country. So here's some of those clips. Hi, my name is Cynthia Lebron. I'm a PhD student at the University of Miami in Prevention Science and Community Health. My research focuses on early childhood obesity, racial and ethnic disparities, and this is how I practice public health. Hi, I'm Anna. I am Ohio Department of Education school-based healthcare lead, and that's how I practice public health. <laughs> Hi, I'm Yasmin Lee. I'm looking at social media's impact on breastfeeding among black millennials um, just to see if social media has any influence on black outcomes, and that's how I pull the pill. I evaluate preschool nutrition intervention programs, and that's how I practice public health. Hi, my name is Tatiana. I'm studying epidemiology for my MPH, and I am interested in preventing chronic and infectious diseases in low access communities. To me, public health means disseminating information to the public excessively, prevention over intervention, making sure that all voices are heard, and keeping the public in public health. I'm Amy, and I'm the Healthy People Program Specialist with The Ohio State University Extension, doing diabetes management programming and overall health and wellness across the whole state of Ohio, and that's how I practice public health. Hi, I'm Jenny Wetter. I'm the Director of Public Policy at Population Institute, and I host our podcast, Repro Fight Back, a podcast that talks about reproductive health, rights, and justice, and that's how I practice public health. such a large field, public health can be daunting to consider as a prospective student, whether you're trying to figure out what department you should apply to, what certificate you should pick, or even if public health is right for you. So I hope that this video has been helpful in sort of showing you where public health grads have ended up, what sort of industries and roles you can work in, and if you have any questions whatsoever about my public health experiences or any of the sort of um, just general what you can do with public health, feel free to drop me a comment, message me on Instagram, whatever you feel like. And if you like videos like these, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. Um, yeah, see you next time.